is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright, that's... sounds good to me. I tried a new kind of food, a new kind of cu cultural cuisine yesterday, for the first time ever. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the type of food that I had yesterday for the first time ever was... Hawaiian food. Yes, out here in Washington state, Hawaiian food is actually pretty popular. Reason being, we are one of the closest states to Hawaii. You know, you, the entire West Coast would be considered the closest you can get to Hawaii. And so some Hawaiians move here, and then they start their own restaurants and the like. There's actually a whole chain here called Aloha Grill. We didn't go there. We actually ordered from a local small time, you know, it's, it's, it's a local restaurant, a real chef from Hawaii. <laughs> and so we ordered Hawaiian barbecue. Okay, and my wife, or, did it have Spam? Someone just asked, did it have Spam? Spam is actually very popular in Hawaiian cuisine. Canned ham is popular in Hawaiian cuisine. Figure that one out. I couldn't tell you why, <clears throat> okay, but it is. No, we did not order the Spam. <clears throat> we ordered the, the barbecue style stuff. So my wife got a variety of meats, and I got a fish and meat plate. And I personally tried the barbecue beef, and there was this kind of fish, I can't, Put my, I can't was it basu or something? I can't remember. It was some kind of a breaded fish. And so, the, the first of all, the meat, the, the, the barbecue beef. Oh, my God. Dude, it was so good. It was tender. It was full of flavor. And the thing is, normally when you get barbecue, you either get a smoky flavor or you get that strong, like, barbecue sauce taste. No, this barbecue was actually kind of sweet. It had, like, a sweetness to it. And I'm wondering if it's because they put pineapple juice in a lot of stuff. It was good, man. It was like, wow, it's tender, it's juicy, and it was very sweet. <clears throat> man, that's good. And then I got, like I said, I got this, uh, this fish. And I don't know what kind of fish it was, but here's the thing, and here's why I liked it a lot. Unlike other fish, when usually when you get a breaded fish, it has a very strong fishy taste, let's be honest. And usually what you need, you need to have, like, tartar sauce or something to dip it in. And that way it has that, that acidic, vinegary bite, and it counters the fishy taste. This fish did not taste fishy. It was kind of like you had a little bit of the fishy taste, but it actually had a, an interesting flavor. It was better, I feel, than like a breaded cod or whatever, or breaded tilapia. I've had a lot of different fish, but this just tasted better to me. <clears throat> so I was actually really impressed. I was like, this is actually really good food. Now, my wife ended up getting a barbecue chicken and barbecue spare rib combo plate. That also, I had a piece of each. Oh, my God. So I don't know what they put into their barbecue, the Hawaiian chefs, but... Man, that barbecue is it's totally different from what you would expect from, like, American barbecue. It doesn't taste at all like American barbecue. But man, it was good. I was like, this is like, again, it kind of opened our eyes to another cultural cuisine we've never had. And trying it for the first time, we're like, dude, this is really effing good. Like, and I want to try other stuff from there. Because like people have just said, they actually make different, uh, different kinds of things with spam, which is ridiculous in my opinion. But hey, maybe it's good. They also have these rice roll things that have all kinds of meat and stuff in them. It just seems really interesting. Um, so anyway, I'm, you know, we're interested in trying it again. Obviously not right away, but I definitely would like to order from there again. And try out Hawaiian cuisine. It was it, it was impressively good. And it was good value, too. Like, for the same price that you would order a dinner anywhere else, they gave us, like, insane amounts of food. I'm like, this is ridiculous, man. So, <clears throat> thumbs up to Hawaiian barbecue is all I have to say. It was it was really, really good. I loved red meat. All right. The nutrition wants to know, what is the name of my condition? It's called Gouty McGowdinson syndrome. What happens is if I eat any red meat or shellfish... Or if I have a single drip, drip of alcohol, my foot swells up to the size of a giant bloated balloon and explodes. Great news. If you would all please direct your attention to the top of the stream. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is official. We did it. We hit the sub goal for April. <laughs> Bozo mode. Now, as I promised you guys... This month, we are not moving the goalpost. We are not having tier two, tier three sub goals. Once we hit it, we hit it. All right? And I want to say, obviously, thank you to, to Only Iced Coffee, 
who gifted a ridiculous amount of subs this month to make it happen. So, thank you guys for all the support and allowing me to hit the sub goal for the month. This means multiple things. First of all, it means, yes, the retro replay is happening. Now, I haven't set it up or anything yet. I will set it up soon. But basically, I'll definitely set it up by the end of April. What's going to happen is you guys are going to be able to start nominating games. Now, the, here's the criteria. has to be a game that I played in 2015 or earlier. It has to be a game that since then I have not already replayed. Okay? And also, although there may be some exceptions, it can't be a game that's, like, insanely long. Like, for example, no, I'm not going to play Skyrim right now. <laughs> I thought it was a guy. I will very shortly, likely within the end of this week, maybe, even... Uh, be putting up the ability for you guys to start nominating these games. Okay, that's number one. Then, once we get nominations in, it'll turn into a poll of the games that have been most nominated. People will vote, and once the vote determines the winner, that will be a full playthrough that I'm going to start up here on the channel, likely sometime in May. Wow! Now, when I do this event, it's going to be a marathon to launch it, meaning I'll have a day where all I do is play said game that you guys picked for the Retro Replay event. I'll play it six, seven hours. We'll get a giant chunk into the game for that very first gameplay session. It'll be like a celebration, all right? In addition to that, during that marathon event, there will also be a DSP Tries It episode that'll happen. That Yes, as well, that'll also be uh, happening. And it's going to be, yes, ladies and gentlemen, Chef Boyardee. I'm actually going to try Chef Boyardee canned pasta. I'm sure it's going to be absolutely delicious gourmet. So I said, I like penis, because it's easy to eat. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Uh, Slippy Jimmy cheer again. He says, that sucks. You should be able to, to be left alone when you're not here. What was the drama attempt so we can have a laugh at it? Oh, there was more than one. There was more than one. It was all kinds of shit. Still, oh, did you know that your mod who turned on you said this and this? I don't give two fucks about what that mod does. If that mod disappeared from the planet, I wouldn't care. Like, who fucking cares about that guy? That guy's been doing nothing but cause drama for people for the past month. And anyone who would listen to a word that idiot said, I don't even know why you would waste your fucking breath or time. Obviously, the guy's crazy and full of shit. <laughs> he's he's fabricated and made up so much bullshit. Why the fuck would you listen? And this is a guy who's so desperate for attention that he's still... Here it is a month after he supposedly flipped on me and left as a mod and turned on me. And, oh, this is going to be the end of Phil. I'm going to drop all this bombs of, of knowledge. Nothing has happened negative whatsoever because everything he said, nothing was was actually bad at all. And, and half the shit he said was made up regardless. And on top of all of that, it's a month later, and this motherfucker is still grasping for straws to be relevant. Still, a month later, we're still talking about this guy? Full of salt is 100% salty as shit. What the fuck planet do you live on? I couldn't give two fucks about that guy and what he says. I don't care what he... He, he could say to fucking, you know... I'm a space alien, and I'm trying to fucking root the minds of children with some fucking crazy brain waves over my stream. People would believe it. Because they're dumb. So the second anyone emails me, Oh, did you know that your former mod delete? I thought I'd read the rest of it. Just delete. Delete, 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 delete. I get it all the time. I get crazy conspiracy theory emails and shit. I'll like, oh, delete. Enough of your nonsense. Why am I gonna... Why would I entertain stupidity like that? I'm just not... I'm not a brain-dead stupid idiot mouth-drooling moron who falls for every conspiracy theory under the planet. So I just delete your bullshit. And then I don't have to deal with it. I can just come to stream and have fun. I don't see it. Here's the thing. I understand that there's a large portion of the internet viewing community that's kind of immature and they all go for that shit. Oh, drama. Oh, conspiracies. Oh, 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 I'm the furthest from it. I don't entertain any of that shit for fucking a second. I, I see it. Oh, oh, look. Bullshit. Delete. I don't care. I don't pay attention to any of the nonsense. I just, I just completely ignore it and move on with my day and have a good day of streaming with you guys and just... It's not even worth addressing any of the shit that people talk about because it's such a waste of everyone's fucking time. You have to be an idiot to waste your time with that. Snort! You mean this? <clears throat> there you go. Thank you. Uh, Slippy Jimmy Cheers, I'm sorry so many negative people gravitate towards you. I have no idea how anyone could deal with it. Well, listen, I'm, I'm a, at this point, I'm a pro at it. <laughs> you know? I've dealt with it for like, over a decade. This fucking bullshit nonsense every day. It's like, it, the thing is, it kind of like, just like anything, all right? You get desensitized to it. Like, at first, the first few times it happened, you're shocked. Oh my god, someone would say something terribly negative about me. Someone would make entire hour-long video montages trying to make me look like an asshole. Oh my god, someone would say something bad about me, defamatory, about me or my family members. Oh my god, someone would try to reveal personal information about me that was, you know, that someone got from a, a hack or something. At first, you're shocked. But once it happens, day after day, month after month, year after year, you really get desensitized to it. I had to lie about things because I had to protect my family, right? And you realize that there's, sadly, a, a large group of people on the internet who are scumbags. They have no morals. 
They have no principles, and they certainly don't have any conscience. They just do whatever they feel like because they feel like they can get away with it because they're anonymous on the internet. They do not care about who they hurt. They do not care about what, you know, what means they go to to cause any kind of an end. For them, it's just about, I got attention today. I, I concretely affected someone's life today because likely in real life, these people are nobodies, right? Or else why would they care so much about what's going on on the internet if they had a life to distract them from the internet? They wouldn't be on the internet wasting their time all day anyway. So for me... It just has become such a desensitized thing that it's like every day I expect there will be new drama that I have nothing to do with. Every day people will try to suck me into said drama. Every day someone will say something newly crazy, stupid conspiracy theory about me. And I just shrug and say, I don't care. I ignore it. And I move on with my day. And guess what? Since I started with that philosophy, things have been a lot better, man. Really. Things have just been a lot better in my life overall. Since I said, fuck all that, ignore it, and just move on and do positive stuff. So that's my mentality. They can have their own crazy, dramatic world where they all circle jerk each other into oblivion, I don't care. I just do my own thing positively on my streams, okay? Lunaba gifted a sub to Habib Gaming. Congrats, Habib Gaming, on the gifted sub, and thank you, Lunaba, for the channel support. Mythical cheered said, will you be a goblin this year for Halloween? Yes, definitely. And then he cheered again, he said, goblin, these nuts. Oh my god, he got me with a, a these nuts joke. <laughs> he got me with a these nuts joke. Damn, it's been a long time since there's been a these nuts joke on my stream. Mr. Hurdy Gurdy Man's Dar Dargs 7? What the fuck? <clears throat> he says, th I can't even read your name, dude. Your name at this point has gotten so ridiculous. You have so many sock accounts that I can't even keep track nor read the name anymore. But anyway, he says, this is the content I love. I wish you would kick back and have special feature length pre streams. Crack open a gin and cherry juice and just that. A gin and cherry juice? Wouldn't that be counterproductive? Because the purpose of the cherry juice is to reduce my acid levels in my body so I don't get a, a, a gout outbreak. But if I'm drinking gin, that's raising the, or actually, that exacerbates the existing acid levels in the body. So what's the point? Gin and cherry juice. By the way, if you're not aware, cherry juice tastes nasty. I only want one cup of it a day because, man, it's not something I would drink outside of that. Nope, that's my lie. Got him. Ha ha ha, got him. Hi there, you liar, you. I'm good at lying. <laughs> that's right, it's not an outbreak, it's a gout break. There you go. Th luckily, I haven't had a gout break in many, many years. Uh, every once in a while, I'll get a day where, like, my toe is a little sore. But usually, I, I haven't had a major gout break, I would say, since like 2017 was the last time. Now that I'm thinking back, I think that was the last time I had a really bad outbreak. And I, that was because uh, I basically, at that point, you know, like I said, in 2017, some bad stuff happened in my personal life. And I wasn't really paying attention to my diet or anything. And it was pretty bad one week. My foot was completely fucked up. But outside of that, that was the last time. So we're talking like four years since I had a, a bad gout break. There you go. Okay, everyone. Well, now, I hope you had fun. Being that I knew people were enjoying the playthrough, I decided to go a little extra long today. As you saw, I went a whole extra hour on stream, which I hope you appreciate. Um, quite honestly, let me take a look, because I have not looked at stream numbers all day. My god, the stream numbers were terrible. Wow, what happened? We never even... hold on. I'm actually trying to go back here. Did we ever even get close to 400? We didn't, did we? It looks like we barely even had 300 on stream. Wow. Oh, uh, I don't know what's going on. Listen, here's the bottom line, and I'm tired of it now. No more excuses, all right? Because the bottom line is people are like, Phil's not engaged in his commentary, and Phil's commentary is boring, and that's why people don't want to watch the playthroughs of the streams. Bullshit. I'm loving this game. I'm voice acting. I'm engaged. I'm commentating on everything that's going on actively. Bullshit. I call massive bullshit on any idiot who says that about either the Watch Dogs 2, which I've been playing recently and really liking, or Pokemon. It's bullshit. I call complete and utter bullshit on anyone who's saying that I'm not engaged and I sound like I'm bored. I'm not. So, I've had enough excuses. It just seems to me like people are fucking lazy and don't want to come out to the streams. I don't even know what else to say, you know? I mean... This is kind of ridiculous that I can't even get 400 people for a, a live stream anymore of new games. New games. It, it's one thing if this were like an old game that I was playing, it was boring and, you know, it was an older game most people didn't care about. It's a brand new game. And I can't even get 400 people on stream. I mean, it's ridiculous. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind. And it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Phil has 
indoctrinated children who send him money blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory. But I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>